Barbers, listen up. You already know, if you want the best cuts, you gotta have the sharpest tools in the game. All right, right here. The low pros from Babyless with the original gold FX blade on it, all right? This setup here is the best it gets. I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna show you how to zero gap these and get these working so this way you can have the sharpest lines. Check it out. First things first, let's get into some tools that you might need. Now, first thing you will need is a small Phillips screwdriver with a number one head on it. I have a real mini screwdriver here, which, uh, which you know, kind of helps out. It's got a little spinny bottom. So this way I can, you know, just go like this. Makes things super easy. You need your little hex driver here, little mini hex driver that comes with your trimmers. This is optional. This is a zero gapping tool. It's not a zero gapper. It just, it just helps you zero gap um, if you're eyeing it. So this might be of a help because this allows you to keep the blade on the trimmer and you need your trimmers with your blade. Now, just to reiterate, to get these things super sharp, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get the original Gold FX blade, okay? Do you see that number on the bottom there? It is a non-deep tooth blade. It's your standard, uh, standard depth teeth, okay? It is an FX707Z. This is what's gonna make it a lot better. Okay, so the first route we're gonna go is I'm gonna show you guys how to use this, the zero gapping tool, okay? This allows you to stick it onto the blade while the blade is still on the machine. You pretty much keep these rounded areas up that um, pretty much indicates where the screws are and you push it in. Before you get to use it, you will have to loosen up these two hex screws here. So you grab your little hex driver here and you just go ahead and loosen it up. Oh. It is loose. That side is loose. The blade is now movable, okay? So when you push this all the way up, like so, nice little press, it's gonna make the bottom teeth surpass the top blade. You can see, I'm sure you can see right there. You see these teeth, the black teeth are protruding. This is not where you wanna leave it. Some people get in the habit of just, you know, putting the, uh, the blade all the way up and saying, oh yeah, Oh, it's zero gap, it's not zero gap. Stop it. You see those teeth? They're protruding by a lot. All right, what this does, this gives tension on the, on the blade here. So it's hard to move. As you can see, when I try to move it, it takes a little, see how it's kind of sticky? It allows you to move this blade without it falling back in a position. It holds it just enough. So I'm gonna go ahead the biggest thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap it right against the table. All right. This just even the teeth up. Teeth are now even, as you can see. From here, I personally like to, to kind of snug one up, snug up one side, and then check the other side. Get a nice close-up of where the other side is at, okay? You move it just a little bit very close. I want it to be down a little more. Once it's where you like it, kind of hold your finger there. Tighten it up. And then, loosen this side up again. See where it's at. Find out where you want it. Right now it looks pretty good. Tighten it up. They both should be super tight now. Now you can take the zero gapping tool off and check your trimmers. For all you newer barbers out there, there is a check to make sure these teeth are pretty good. You're gonna go ahead and use your forearm. You're gonna turn it on and see how it feels here. If it hurts here, it's gonna hurt the back of your neck. So you're gonna go ahead and adjust accordingly, okay? So you're gonna wanna back that blade off just a little bit. Now when I zero gap my trimmers, I like to take a whole different route. I like to stand in front of the window so I can get a lot of light. 
And what that allows me to do is I can see the reflection of the tips of these top teeth um, while I'm zero gapping. It helps out big time. So I'm gonna show you how I do mine. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this blade off. Be nice and careful. You don't wanna drop this blade. This blade is gold. <laughs> gold. I always hold the blade while I'm unscrewing just so it doesn't slip, all right? So from here on out, go ahead and clean that thing up. You know, I'll brush it off. And again, have a place that you have good lighting. I like to always kind of use my blade cleaning brush on it. Now all I do is almost exactly what you just witnessed, but I do it all again manually. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start just by loosening up these. So what I did was I loosened it fully and then I get it to where it just kind of starts giving tension back, okay? That allows the blade kind of not to move but still be movable with force, all right? Just like this. So I try to get the light to hit on an angle on these top teeth, these gold teeth. So this way I can see just a touch. So you could even grab like a ring light. You can use any kind of light, as long as you can see a reflection. So I go ahead and I work on one side the same way I did with the with the uh, blade setter. All right, the same thing I did with this, I'm doing, but I do manually with the blade off. You can throw that to the side. I usually never use that. I just wanted to show you guys how. So I'll go ahead, look at it, move it around. Again, it's, it's snug, very minimally. So this way I can move it, but it also won't move if I don't want to move it. So I'll go ahead, work on one side, tighten it up. Check the other side. I always check from different angles. All right, so I'll loosen this one up. I'll check where it's at. Move accordingly. Tighten it back up. Get a good side view, you know, of what's going on here. And this, you can kind of see, looks pretty perfect. So I'm looking from every different angle just to make sure it's nice and straight. Now we can actually put this side down, I mean a hair. When I mean a hair, I mean like half the thickness of our freaking hair. All right, very little bit. Tighten it back up. Now, the only thing with this is that to do it this way, you get super precise, but you gotta take the blade off and put it back on. No matter where you set your blade, while you're zero gapping, when you put it on, or if you left the blade on, turn it on for a second. Turn the machine on for a second, shut it off. See where your teeth ended up. Sometimes they might move a little bit. Maybe you didn't do something right or tighten something down. But uh, I always check. I make sure that you know the blade itself is not crooked either way. I always kind of push it back and then give it up one little last snug. All right, looks like the, the teeth haven't moved. I turn it on, turn it back off. The teeth haven't moved. This thing is money. Visual. Visually, it's money. Okay? You go ahead. Check it on your arm. Freaking works beautifully. All right. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's perfect. If you don't want to do the, the arm method, you could always just double check. Try it on your forehead. Try it on the back of your neck. If you feel irritation, obviously, Clients are gonna feel irritation. Once you are complete, go ahead, clean, brush, spray them bad boys off. They are now good to go. So again, last thing. Get these trimmers, get that blade, follow this whole guideline to a T. You can thank me later. Also, don't forget, check the link in the description. Please vote for me for Barbara Grammy, our hometown hero in Connecticut. I would really appreciate it. And until then, keep on cutting. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.